hurry. Um, these are just totally incredible. There's a lot more in the box, but um, there I just don't even have words. This is going to help me so much. Thank you so, so much. Christine's Chop Shop. so much. I'm losing my voice again, so, but, oh, <laughs> great companion. Thank you so, so much. Sorry I'm slow at opening. I just, um, having a tough time, but love you guys. Thank you. Welcome to Parrot Playhouse. My name is April, and this is the lovely Victoria Cockatoo. I can't turn my neck. I injured it but it's gonna be fine. But she gets camera shy, so she's gonna make an appearance. There she is. And she's gonna disappear. You, oh, yeah, she's gone. She's taking off down the bed. Um, but I wanna do an update today on Cameron. She's the bird mom that lost her job during the beginning of the pandemic, got COVID, and that got COVID again. She has 11 rescue parrots and many of them are special needs. And many of you have been following this story. And so the second time with COVID, once again, things have gotten very hard. As you can imagine, she hasn't worked. She doesn't qualify for healthcare as many of you have asked. Um, she lives in Florida and she tried, but they told her it's just so, if she has children under 18 or if she's pregnant, she'll qualify. So it's just, the whole thing is ridiculous. Um, and she's just so sick for her to like fight this or find loopholes. It's just, it's really difficult. Um, another question that you guys had, and I'm, I want, I want to just cover this cause this was a question that a lot of people of you had, and then I'm going to talk about, um, some really good news. And I got some really bad news about all this. Uh, when Cameron went into the hospital, uh, everybody was asking, you know, who was taking care of her birds, her daughter that lives an hour and a half away drove to take care of the birds. And so it's just this family has been hit with so much tragedy. And now Cameron's friend is in the hospital fighting for her life with COVID as well. Um, they've been hit with so much tragedy, her daughter too. Um, it's just, can you imagine having a mom that's just so sick that you love and you're an hour and a half away? You know, I'm sure she has a job, you know, she has a life. It's just, they, this family's just been hit with so much. I'm just so glad that we could come together and make a difference and help them because that's exactly what we have done here uh, with Flock Power. We have really, you guys, we have really made a difference. Last video I did a GoFundMe, right? And uh, before all this, you, you know, it was like when I found out again that the birds were running low on food and everything, I went to Facebook, did a Facebook Live real quick, and I asked for food. <laughs> Um, these are just totally incredible. There's a lot more. Uh, money, people could send money to her PayPal, and then she has an Etsy account that she sells jewelries and jewelry and all kinds of beautiful stuff. People went into action. Christine Wood from Christine's Chop Shop sent $500 worth of food. People sent pellets, you know, all kinds of stuff, toys. Some people sent more toys, like Amy and Hugo. Um, and then I, but we needed more. We needed more money. We, we, I just needed to make a bigger impact. Like we needed serious block power. So then I made the video last week. Wow, you guys did the GoFundMe. And I set the goal at $1,300. I, I was hoping we could at least hit that. But more would have been good. But guess what happened? So like within the first four hours, we hit $1,300. And then it just kept going up. So I kept raising the goal and then it just kept going up some more and up some more. And every time I would look at it, I would just start sobbing. And I remember waking up like at three o'clock in the morning, looking at it going like, oh my gosh. And then I saw a message from Dan from Providence Meadow Kayik Sanctuary. And I'm actually wearing their shirt right now. They sell these shirts to raise money for their sanctuary. Um, him and his wife, Patty. 
You're off the talk to Miss Gilly. Hi, Gilly. Let's go. But then he said, I, you know, I, I, I forget what the exact words, but I put something in to put it over, like, to our next goal. And But every time we do something, a fundraiser, and we do a lot of fundraisers here, and Christine Chop Shop does a lot, a lot of fundraisers as well, and we help out, you know, we, we join forces. They always donate. And his motto is hashtag, we are better together. And he is so right, right? So it, it was just so touching. So I'm wearing the shirt because I want you guys to go check them out and see what they're doing. They're doing amazing things. But that's how we work together, you guys. And then there were there was a message, an email um, from someone. And I'm going to read this email. There's two emails. I'll read them quick. I just want you to see, you know, with that GoFundMe, people were sending me messages of why they wanted to help or their personal ex experiences that they've gone through. Um, and it was just so touching. You know, some people on fixed incomes that, you know, are disabled, they, they were giving $5 or $7.50. Kids were given their allowance. I mean, this is what we're talking about here. And it was just really amazing. You know, I'm reading all these messages and there were a lot of messages, emails uh, from Instagram, Twitter, uh, YouTube. Facebook like there were a lot of messages but this one this one was one of those that got to me I have toys and purchase to share with Cameron if you feel comfortable sharing her address um, I can send it anywhere as long as she gets it also I have a bit of money I can add to the GoFundMe I'm retired with a fixed income but I have enough and so do my birds we can share uh, and then she ended it and then she messages it again, and she goes, thank you so much. Um, yes, her PayPal would be good, because she ha Cameron has a PayPal. And that way she has it instantly. Several years ago, my husband lost his job when we were uh, when we had 14 rescue parrots and four little boys. Um, help just means everything. She needs to concentrate on getting healthy. So, you know, people were... That, that was one of the short emails people were writing like some were like two pagers about you know why they're doing this uh, how they appreciate this is happening how they love that people are working together and it was just amazing so the funds of the GoFundMe have now been I've handed it over to Cameron so you give GoFund you so basically what you do is so the other person can set up withdrawals I got Cameron's email, I send it to GoFundMe, they give Cameron an invite, she accepts, and then the money starts going in her account. I think it takes about five to seven days for that to happen. So that has been done. That was done like a few days ago. I wanted to get up a little bit and I wanted to be able to stay on there to like thank everybody. And it turns out I'm still on there, so I'm glad. Um, Cause that way I can thank everybody as they donate. That's really important to me. Like that's like number one to take the time and just to thank everybody who's, you know, helped and supported Cameron. I really appreciate you. Help her a lot. She hasn't been on social media much. Like, it's just, it's too painful for her to go on to social media. Uh, she's had this terrible headache since she was in the emergency room. She has this constant headache. They gave her some uh, medicine in her IV. She's very sensitive. That's my African gray making that rusty door sound. And so it's just really hard for her to be on social media to really just thank everybody. So I'm definitely, I want to thank everybody for her because she's so grateful, but she's just so sick. But I'm definitely going to keep on following on what's going on with her and the birds and continue to update all of you. Her dog is very sick right now. Um, that was something that she told me the other night. She just has a million things going on. So her dog... Um, her dog Simba, which is a Pekingese, is not doing well. Um, he's old. And so she's going to probably, it just kind of sounds like it's getting to that point. And so she's dealing with that as well. You know, one really cool thing, another cool thing that happened was I went live on YouTube. And I just went live that day that I released the video last week just to tell everybody, hey, can you please share this GoFundMe? Can you please share this video? Help this video get to the right places of people that can help. And sure enough, that happened, right? 
And so, but there's this thing, this feature on my live streams that YouTube puts where you can super chat. And people started sending super chats saying, this is for Cameron, this is for Cameron and her birds. And I'm just like, oh, ow. I'm just like, whoa, we've got like this fundraiser now, this live fundraiser that's happening, right? And so all of a sudden, Christine Chop Shop Wood gets on there, Queen of Chop, and she's like, well, I'll match all these donations with food from the Chop Shop. So she's already given $500 uh, food, and she's it's just amazing. So then all of a sudden, this just turns into this, like, competitive thing, right? Everybody's just going crazy. And so we raised, like, $268, which is really fabulous. And then $268 in Christine Chop Shop, thanks to her. That's But that's just called making a difference. So I was able to send money to Cameron, I PayPal'd her with that ahead of time. Um, so it's just amazing what's going on out there. There's so many people that care. Thank you to everybody that has donated and helped Cameron and her birds. And for those of you who would still like to help, uh, her PayPal, GoFundMe, and Etsy account is in the description. And I would like to see this GoFundMe, you guys. I'd like to see it make it to $5,000 because the birds and camera, they could really use the money. And I'm so sorry I was slurring my words and stuttering in this video. My neck has been hurting a lot and I didn't realize how bad it was. I tried to edit it out the best I could, but um, mm, so my apologies. Okay, thank you.